Hello and welcome to video 7 in our series on smart objects. At this point we've shown you the basics of smart objects as well as gotten you through the basics of writing your own service. Once you have this service completed and the DLL has been compiled what you need to do is register that with our service broker and continue on. That will be the focus of today's video. So we have our new DLL for our service. Running the Broker Management Console will allow us to register this as a new service type. Simply right-click New Service Type inside of the Broker Management Console. Give it a, an appropriate name, display name, and description, and then tell it where the assembly lives. In our case, we'll call it Main SQL, SQL, and SQL Database, just to be very generic. We click the ellipse to point it to where our new assembly is that we just created. Ours is in the dynamic SQL service directory, bin, debug, and there's our SQL server DLL. Once we click OK, we're presented with a message that tells us the service type has been registered successfully. In order to see this as being done, we can go into the workspace management console and enter in the smart objects area, which will, tell, will, which will list out our various service types under services. There we see it at the bottom for SQL. Now there are no service instances configured. We need to do that now. We'll simply click Add, provide it some basic information such as database, port, server name, username, etc. and go down and select Next. At this point we can give it a system name, display name, and description as well, but we'll just enter in some basic information. Now I see that my service instance is also there and ready to be used in the building of smart objects. Well, that's it. This one was easy, quick, and to the point. I hope you have all gotten something out of our series on smart objects. Join us for our next video where we will be taking you through the basics of K2 Designer for Visual Studio. Until next time, have a great day.